In this tutorial, we will learn about the need for object-oriented programming, the major concepts of object-oriented programs, and pros and cons of uh, object-oriented programming. Imagine that you are a kid and you have a pile of toys like this one. I ask you to find a green car for me. One condition though, you should not disturb the toys and leave the pile as it is. It's difficult, isn't it? Let's sort these toys and put them in boxes like this and arrange those bins on a shelf. I now ask you to find the green car. Is it easier to find it? Yes, of course. In earlier days, the computer program was a long list of commands, just like our big lump of toys. The commands were then grouped into a list of commands called functions, just like bins in our toy example. All the data was in one location and it was modified from everywhere. This caused issues as data modified in one function would affect the other function too. It was difficult to identify and fix the bugs. Changing these programs were a nightmare. Enter the object oriented programming. Data and commands are put into discrete objects. The data is hidden within the object and other classes are not allowed to access the data directly. Let's discuss the object-oriented concepts, encapsulation, polymorphism, and inheritance. First one is encapsulation. It hides the internal state of one object from others. It conceals the details. For example, to drive a car, we need to know how to accelerate, brake, and steer. Car does not have to tell us about how it burns the fuel, generates electricity, and rotate the tires. That information is hidden from driver when all he wants to do is to drive to a destination. Second concept is polymorphism. It means taking many different forms. Polymorphism is the ability of one object to be treated and used like another object. For example, we treat duck as animal, not just as a duck. Similarly, we treat dog and cat also as animals. We ask each animal to speak. They speak in their own language. Duck is taking the form as animal, which allows us to treat it like an animal. Taking a different form is polymorphism. Inheritance. It is a relation which inherits the attributes and behaviors from their parent class. For example, dog is an animal. It means animal is a parent class and dog is the child class. The child class dog inherits the attributes like age and weight from the parent class, which is animal. The inheritance allows the child class to inherit the attributes and behaviors of its parent. Advantages of the object-oriented programs are they are modular. It is easier to change one module without affecting the other. Information is hidden from other objects and it is easier to change the internal state without affecting external interface. It promotes code reuse. Extendability is easier. New functionality is easier to add without affecting existing functionality. Let's see what are the disadvantages. Object-oriented programs are harder to develop, yes. Real-world problems do not always fit into objects. For smaller programs, it may be easier to use simple list of commands rather than a full-blown object-oriented program. 
Functional languages and structured query language SQL are some of the alternatives and they are better suited for certain problems over object oriented paradigm. So be rational. It is very important to learn the basics of object oriented design well and carefully choose an approach. In summary, we learned that object oriented programs were designed to reduce complexity and improve manageability. Data and operations are gathered into discrete objects. We also learned pros and cons of object oriented programming.